Hello everybody. I've not done a video for a while so I thought I'd start off by unboxing the first component I've received for an upcoming project which I should be starting in the next couple of weeks. Um, so this is a sound card from Creative who have kindly sent me the Sound Blaster ZXR. Um, so we'll quickly have a look at the box and then I'm going to move on to installing it in the computer and if I get a chance at the end of the video I'll quickly give you a demonstration of uh, some of the software and let you know how it's performing as well. So taking a look at the front of the box you can see it's got most of the main uh, specifications of this sound card. So you've got the crystal voice, you've got double digital support, DTS, you've also got 3D surround for your headset, you've got a built-in amplifier for the headset as well along with the scout mode which is really good for gamers so you can determine which direction things are coming from. So on the back we have a couple of illustrations along with a more detailed description of some of the things mentioned that we saw on the front. Um, so we'll quickly open this up now and see what's included inside. So the first box we have here has both the sound cards in and this smaller box here has the controller for your headset and your microphone. In the bottom of the box we have the cables starting off with a phono left and right audio to a female 3.5 plug. You also get the connection cable here which goes from your main sound card to the DB Pro board if you're going to be using that. There's a long phono to 3.5 male jack and another box which contains the optical lead, the installation manual and the installation CD which will have the drivers and the software needed but I do recommend that you go onto the website and download the latest versions especially if you're on Windows 10 as there's updates for that operating system. I'm moving along now to the controller for the headset and the microphone Again this comes in another separate package, well wrapped. Following the theme of the sound cards it has the red and black design. The volume control is very smooth and easy to move, there's no clicking, there's no on and off position, it's just a straightforward up and down volume. On one side we have the full size connections for your headphone and your microphone and on the right hand side we also have headphone and microphone but this time it's the 3.5 on the bottom it's got a nice rubber textured finish so it's not going to be sliding about on your desk and you can see it's also got a nice red metallic finish around the bottom it comes with this decent length braided cable and on the end of it you have the full size gold plated headphone and microphone plugs and these are also removable so you can unscrew these and then you've got the 3.5 size socket uh, plugs. Now moving on to the main part which is the two cards. We'll start off with the main sound card which is one that's going to have to be attached to your motherboard. They both come very well packed, doubled up together with this nice foam packing. As you can see it's got the nice red and black theme which I will hopefully be modifying, possibly changing to white and blue or maybe black and blue. On the side of the card you can see it's got the gold plate in and at the very top we have the microphone followed by the headphones and then you've also got the front, left and right, centre, sub and rear outputs. Over on the back of the card the PCB board has a very nice dark grey finish to it and on the side of the card it has the connection for if you're going to be using the DB Pro card and here is the DB Pro card again this is an optional card so you don't have to use this but this does tie in with the theme and it matches up very nicely with the main card on the back you've got the same gold plated fittings along with a left and right auxiliary in and also the optical in and optical out Okay, so I'm going to be fitting the sound card just next to the graphics card down there. So I'll lift up the desktop now, turn off the computer and get it ready for fitting. 
for now I'm just going to be installing the main sound card into my mini PCI Express slot which is on the Asus Sabertooth X99 motherboard. You can also use the card in any of your PCI Express slots so you don't necessarily have to have a mini but if you do have one it's going to more than likely be an advantage to use that slot. So once the card was installed I then went ahead and installed the drivers straight off the disk to see if there was going to be any problems with Windows 10 compatibility. So it did install them all without any problem but the minute I rebooted the computer it popped up on the screen with this message asking me to run the auto update. So after running the auto update it updated I think about four of the programs over the space of about five ten minutes or so so you should be fine to just install off the disk and then let it auto update itself because downloading the drivers from creative actually takes a little bit longer to do rather than just letting it auto update so now it's all installed and up and running we'll have a quick look at the main program that's going to be used for playback and your microphone control so starting off the first thing we have is the SBX Pro Studio and in here you will find a surround option along with the crystallizer, bass control, smart volume so you're not wake, waking uh, your neighbours up late on a night and your dialogue boosting option. The next one down crystal voice in here you'll have your main microphone controls so you've got your mic recording volume your mic boost, your crystal voice, the, the effects controls, noise reduction, uh, echo cancellation and some other settings relating to your microphone. Then we have the scout mode as I mentioned earlier on in the video this is mainly for the gamers out there that want to have a little bit of extra edge and know which directions or have, have a better perspective of which directions f things are coming at you from. Then we have the speakerphone and headphone option. In here you've got the uh, stereo headphones, stereo direct and 5.1 options that you can pick along with enabling your centre, your sub, your rear left and right. Doing the sound test to make sure you've got the right sound at the right volume coming out of the correct speakers. And then you can also enable full range in here if you have speakers capable of it on the front left and right and surround. You've also got the beat, the bass reduction in here, which you can alter with a crossover frequency, and you've also got subwoofer gain. Next, we have the mixer control. In here, you can control the microphone volume, the speaker volume, and what you'll hear volume. You've also got individual controls for each each speaker. So, if your rears are a little bit quieter than you than you'd like them, you can come in here and turn them up slightly. And the last one on the main page is the equalizer. You've also got profiles down here at the bottom. There's a couple of custom profiles already saved in here for you. You can also import or export more profiles if you need. And lastly, at the very top, there's a couple more little options. Okay, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching it. Um, please do leave any comments below, any recommendations, questions that you have. Also hit the thumbs up or thumbs down depending on whether the video were helpful to you. And for anybody that will be going to the Birmingham NEC at the end of August to the i58 show, um, the build here which I'm going to put up on the screen now will be on display there along with the other two competition builds. Um, so hopefully I might see some of you down there but that's it for now please don't forget to subscribe also if you want to see the new build I'm working on I will update you with some uh, video logs over the following two to four weeks